Hello, Junior Doctors. Welcome back to Junior Doctor Fiona Chow's YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about and start a series about um, a book review on the man who mistook his wife for a hat. In this book um, by Oliver Sacks, it explores the theme of ethicality around the medicinal area, and it is written by a neurologist, Oliver Sacks. And he basically, throughout these series of short stories, he kind of explores um, how how sad it is to have like a memory loss um, when he found out like one of his patients um, had like Karsakov syndrome, which I'm going to talk about later. And um, so today we are going to start with one short story, The Lost Mariner, which was one I found very, very interesting and shocking for me. So let me first summarize the short story. So The Lost Mariner is about Jimmy G. He is um, just a really charming person who is so charismatic and his personality is absolutely amazing. He loves sharing his stories. And when he first went to the home of the aged, which was where Oliver Sacks worked, he obviously demonstrated this amazing personality and he shared his stories of how he was once in the Navy and it was amazing. Um, and slowly the doctor picked up on how he used present tense when he was explaining his stories. And at first there was seemingly nothing wrong with him because he, his personality was still really great. He wasn't, he didn't develop any like symptoms of Alzheimer's, whereas where your personality would start to um, go downhill and you will be more antisocial. He didn't demonstrate any of that symptoms. Um, however, when the doctor found out that he kept on using present tense to explain his stories, um, he asked him what year it was. And immediately, Jimmy G said, 45, man, what do you mean? Quote, we won the war. FDR is dead. Truman's at the helm. There are great times ahead. So from this quote, um, the doctor immediately picked up on how he had a wonderful memory of the time before 75, but had this memory gap between 75 and the present. So um, he started continuously um, treating him, um, which you could also say like talking with him um, throughout like many years. And Jimmy, he found out that he excelled at games that are lightning speed, for instance, tic-tac-toe, but he couldn't do chess because chess, the moves are way too slow. So um, that's when he, found out that he had Karsakov syndrome. So Karsakov syndrome is where um, you know your past really, really well. It was just like a um, wonderful memory of your past, but um, you couldn't remember anything from the present. For instance, um, when Jimmy G plays chess, right after the moves are too slow, he forgets everything. Karsakov syndrome is because of the mammillary bodies that are um, broken from like alcoholic alcoholism because Jimmy G after the war he started drinking a lot and um, just a lot from this drinking he started developing the syndrome so right after 70 70 the 70s, 1970s, he just drank so much that he started having this memory deficiency. And that was when his Karsakov syndrome started. So now let's analyze the book. One thing that I really, really loved about this short story was how honest um, the neurologist was. Um, when he was treating Jimmy G, he talked about, he, although he practiced medicine, he talked about um, the emotions. He tried to imagine the emotions of his patient and he came up with how how he felt um, having this memory loss. Like 
he even asked him like how do you feel and um jimichi said like i don't feel anything at all like i don't feel like i'm alive i don't feel like i'm i'm sad it's just that i don't feel anything at all and um that is really really that was a highlight for me because normally in like books about medicine there's rarely this part where the doctor actually thinks about what the patient is feeling and in just that section of that short story um you could feel how much the neurologist cared about um jimichi and it was just a really highlighting moment for me the doctor even explained like what does it feel like to be a man quote without roots um because he quoted um another famous really famous neurologist about how the roots of a man is the memories um but what does it feel like to be a man without the memories like how does it feel to not have past experiences except just being just staying there like stationary at like this period of like um the past and 1945 and it's just really heartbreaking to see that he even questioned and doubted um jimmy g about how he was a man without a soul but when he asked the sisters in the hospital about um what they thought about jimmy g the sisters interestingly said that you should go look at him in the chapel and at the chapel um jimmy g could be seen to be praying and he was just it was so emotional for him like he definitely felt something when he was praying like his spiritual self and that's when the doctor found out that um actually it doesn't matter that much of not having a memory it's more about the moral parts of a human that actually makes up a human being this was when he found out the quote from luria um a famous neurologist was very very applicable to this situation quote from luria was a man does not consist of memory alone he has feeling will sensibility moral being it is here you may touch him and you see a profound change his result is that quote memory mental activity mind alone could not hold him but moral attention and action could hold him completely so that conclusion to that story is just absolutely such a highlight for me throughout the book even and we will continue with this series so stay tuned for it so thank you so much for watching and remember to hit the like button subscribe and turn on post notifications thank you and see you next time